Hey everyone, this is Lutz and today I'm gonna to show you how to take a picture with your Raspberry Pi or a video. So let's jump in. After you have to install your camera to your Raspberry, you have to configure your Raspberry and this I do this time in the GUI as the rest of the video so if you want to know how to connect remotely to your Raspberry Pi over a desktop watch that video. So we go to the configuration of the Raspberry and then we go to interfaces and we need to enable the camera and then the configuration is done and we can try if everything is working. For this we open a terminal and this is the same like when you do it remote over SSH, but the, it's easier to do it here because we can directly have a look at the pictures. So what we do at first is we try to make a picture and this is with the command recipe still and then we type O and then we type the name of the picture and that it's test point JPEG and then we hit enter and then it takes five seconds till the picture is taken when it's finished you don't get a prompt but you see that it's done it and then you can change to the folder where you are in my case i'm working at the raspberry user at the moment and then you can open the test jpeg and you see okay it's not really beautiful it's just something at my desk but that's okay so Next thing what we're going to do is we decrease the time that we have to wait till the picture will take. So we type in minus and then give the time in milliseconds and minus O and then just give it a new name like test point G pack or you can also use the same name that it would be overwritten but here for showing that it's a new one I will use test one and then it's done. You also can do a little bit of changing in the re resolution so you can just type minus W 640 and minus H with 480 and then you give it the O and the test 2 point JPEG and you will see we have it here and then we can see here that the resolution is now 640 times 480 and the one before was in a much higher resolution so this is what we can do at that case and what we also can do is to schedule a chrome task that we make a frequency call but uh, yeah i don't think that it helps you in that case but if you want me to do this write it down in the comments and i will make it for you so what we can do as next is that we make some video plays with the camera. The problem in that case is that uh, the camera is just supporting H.264 video format. So we need to install a program to make that usable for normal things. So we type in up, sudo apt-get install and then the name is gpack. So, and what we can do as next is that we just record the video. This is just with Raspberry Wit. And then you give it the time you want to record, also in milliseconds. So I give it 10,000 for 10 seconds, and again minus O. And then the name of the video is that one. And then it takes 10 seconds to make your video. Just smile a bit in the camera or whatever you want to do and after some seconds or after 10 seconds it's finished and then you see here the video in H.64 so yeah not really good but it's working so what we can do now is that we change the video 
to a standard format. So we can type mp4 mp4 box and we give it the frames per second in that case it's 30 and then we say add video and this should be your mp4 and then it's done and we have it as a mp4 so what else can we do? We can make a video with a different resolution. So we just give it again the timing and then we just write the resolution. So in that case I just use a small HD resolution and then we say minus O and video 2. And then it takes again some seconds for creating your video and after this is done you will see the video here and here it is. Okay, not really enjoyable but it's working. So yeah. That was all for today. I want to show you a quick introduction with the camera. Next time we want to do some more advanced stuff and some more interesting stuff doing some things with the Python camera. So if you like that video, here are some other ones and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.